first we want to say thank you, God. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for carrying us this year. And I mean, life is ups and downs. We hope we hope you're at a stage in your Christian life where you can get above the snake line. Now, let me just explain what that means. I can't even remember who told the story. Cal Pierce. He says, in our Christian life, he compares it, they've got mountains, Rock, 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 rocky, mountains. rocky mountains. There's a certain section where you'd have snakes and you'd have all sorts of stuff. But above a certain area where it's too cold, you don't have the snakes. So in our Christian life, sometimes we just have it so tough, you know, there, there's seasons where it's just so tough that you're below the snake line, you know, you're in the snake area. But I hope you're not there all the time, that there are times where you're above the snake line, where you have a season of rest and refreshing and testimonies. So I, I want to read a verse to you. I'm, I'm reading Revelation again, and it's just amazing what's in that book. And the verse I this morning um, just again read is Revelation 3, 5. He who overcomes, one translation says, proves victorious, shall be clothed in white garments, and I will, I will not blot his name from the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and his angels. So it says, he who overcomes. I, I I say thank you to the Lord for the stuff we overcame, you know, the stuff that happened. And we as Christians need to take one another's hands to help each other on the journey to overcome. Um, so that overcome means there are going to be tough times. There are going to be tests and trials. And uh, that's why we're a body of Christ. And just like the body, the eye can't function without the body. The foot can't function without the body. So we all part of the bigger picture. So I say thank you to the Lord for that. The testimony I want to share, we went camping this weekend with a family. We normally have our Christmas weekend early because, you know, they've got jobs and work functions and the in-laws and whatever. So we book it early and we go and have our Christmas with our gifts and everything. Any anyway, case, so... Saturday night, our uh, eldest son, who's not yet serving the Lord, but he knows he, he's on his way into the kingdom. He just maybe he's resisting it. Any case, so he was doing the barbecue and he burnt three of his fingers quite badly. Now, I mean, we're in the dark, we're doing a barbecue, we've got lights on, but not yet at the fire, and quite a bad, bad burn. So now he's got ice, he's holding his fingers on ice. So then the one daughter-in-law that's a little anti and the other one that's a little anti-God weren't there at the fire. I said, Zenon, come and sit here next to me on the chair. So Yoss is there and our other son and his daughter that serve the Lord. I said, we're just going to pray. We're going to trust the Lord for healing of those fingers. Because now there's already a blister. So we prayed the night, we prayed there, say thank you Lord, tomorrow morning when he wakes up, no problem. Next morning I say, Zeno, what do your fingers look like? No problem. Thank you Lord. Isn't that a testament? Yeah, yeah. And how many times does God do that? His mercy and his grace is so big. And we sometimes in circumstances where on the spot you need to show your faith in healing or show your faith in whatever because they need it there they don't need you to talk the talk they need you to walk the walk so we say thank you lord thank you for everyone that served with us everyone that came thank you for the generosity of so many people that uh, i think of wendy and jenny that help in the kitchen that are just so willing to help and i say thank you to the team so i bless you all that it will be an amazing christmas season for you 